Welcome to my first video for Diablo Immortal. I'm Big Skillet and thanks for joining me. And I'm excited today that they announced the release date for Diablo Immortal uh, during a YouTube premiere this morning. And we're going to cut into Wyatt Chang, who is the game director, along with Adam Fletcher, the community lead, and join their conversation. And they're going to touch on the release date and so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. Of course, the eternal when's it coming out? Well, the team's been hard at work, and we're really excited to be able to announce today that we are launching on June 2nd, and later that month in select Asia Pacific regions. That's awesome to hear. June is right around the corner. I know people are really excited for the date. Heck yeah, I'm excited for the date. June 2nd, that's about five weeks away, and I want to hear what they have to say about something even bigger than the release date, if that's even possible. So let's get back uh, to Wyatt and Adam. Why PC? Why are we bringing Diablo Immortal to PC? It's always been our, our goal with Diablo Immortal to make a Diablo game a AAA experience that could reach as many players as possible. And we knew that by building it for mobile, that would be the best way to do that. Diablo Immortal is not only our first game built from the ground up for mobile, it's also our biggest and most ambitious Diablo game to date. It's gonna have rich social systems, it has deep progression systems that allow players to continually play the game, customize their character, and make their character more powerful over time. As we started to explore how we're gonna reach new players and bring new players into the Blizzard family, we knew if our goal is to truly reach as many players as possible, we should be on PC as well. By being on both mobile and PC, we know that everybody will be able to enjoy Diablo Immortal, whether or not you have a phone. This is awesome. I think it's great. It's going to bridge two communities into one, being the mobile and the PC. Let's get back to the conversation with Wyatt and Adam and see what other cool things they have to say. I think uh, people are also really excited to hear a little bit more about how the game plays on PC, especially if they've been following the development of the mobile version over the past couple of years. It plays great on PC. And another thing I'm really happy to be able to share is that you have full cross play and cross progression. That means you could be playing on PC and your friends that you're in a party with, they could be on mobile or PC on the platform of their choice. And then like, it's super cool to be at home playing on your PC and then you suddenly you realize you need to head out the door. So you just log out, grab your phone, log yourself in. You're right where you left off from and you can take the game with you on the go. Cross platform and cross progression is awesome. I mean, I, frankly, I kind of expect it to be that way. But just imagine playing on your PC for an hour or two and you get tired of that and you want to go sit on the couch and hang out and relax a little bit. You bring your tablet over log out of the PC, log into your uh, tablet, and you can keep playing. And that, to me, is fantastic. So what else did they share with us that maybe we haven't covered so far? Let's take a peek. I know that Diablo Immortal is coming for mobile and uses touchscreen controls. Can you explain to us like how the controls will work on PC? Yeah, absolutely. During our last closed beta, we added controller support for mobile, and players really responded positively, telling us that they loved being able to connect a controller to their phone to play Diablo Immortal. Well, we're adding controller support to the PC version of the game as well, so those controls will feel identical. But not everyone wants to play with a controller, so we'll be adding mouse and keyboard support as well. That's great to hear. I've, I've personally always enjoyed playing all my Diablo games using mouse and keyboard, so it's great to hear that it's coming to Immortal. Uh, how is that experience on Diablo Immortal? In Diablo Immortal, you can use your basic primary attack as well as movement using the mouse buttons, as players will probably be familiar, using the left and right mouse buttons, and activate your abilities. By default, they're bound to one, two, three, and four on the keyboard with a potion on Q. And for the first time ever in a Diablo game, we're also gonna support moving using WASD. I really enjoy playing that way. Since Diablo Immortal, if you come from the touchscreen controls, allowed movement and aiming, it's nice to be able to move around with WASD while aiming a skill using the mouse. It feels super natural. Are you kidding me? It's gonna have controller support available for both mobile and PC, but on PC, you'll also be able to use the keyboard and your mouse to move, 
or you can do the WASD movement uh, for controls as well. So that's a lot of flexibility, which I think caters to pretty much both sides really well. You still have the touch screens that you can use for mobile uh, is also. So, I mean, that's like the best of both worlds. It really, really is. And, and I wanna finish up by showing off part of the trailer that they released during this premiere. So let's go ahead and cut to that and then we'll summarize all the, the information that we learned today. To summarize what we learned today is the official release date is going to be June 2nd for mobile and PC. So there's cross-platform play and cross-progression, which is fantastic. There will also be controller support for mobile and PC. And while PC will also have keyboard and mouse controls and the ability to use the WASD movement controls as well. So very excited about that. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I release my next video. And if you like this video, smash on that like button, post in the comments below, tell me your thoughts and opinions on the release date, some of the, feature, the features that they have announced. And until next time, we'll see you soon.